The market in some uh, in, in some ways indicate that you're looking at a cut by January of 2020. If you come inside the Bloomberg, uh, you can see uh, markets lowering that expectation for Fed funds rate. So based on that, uh, how mispriced is the Fed in the equity and bond market, Seema? Well, you know, I, I struggle to see how there's going to be a Fed rate cut at this stage. You know, if you assume that Chinese growth is going to be picking up, which I think is consensus forecast now, that is going to be keeping up pressure for U.S. growth. You have a very tight labor market, which is at some point should be bringing inflationary pressures through. Uh, growth has been very good. So how can they have a rate cut? And I feel like the equity market, for the equity market to be so high at, mo at the moment, if they are expecting a rate cut, we have to look. Historically, the first rate cut has tended to be a red flag for equities because it signals a growth slowdown. There may be a knee-jerk reaction if there was a Fed rate cut um, in a positive way. But as the market starts to absorb it and starts to think, oh, what does the Fed know that we don't know? That's when market anxiety tends to kick in. Um, but I have to say, I think the, the, for the rest of the year, the Fed is going to be staying on hold. The data that, that we have received over the last month, if anything, says to me that there is absolutely no pressure for the Fed to move right now. Growth is strong. Inflationary pressures are subdued. There is no reason to move. Well, exactly. So, Mark, if there's a reaction and shift in policy from cuts just to neutral from the overall market, uh, what kind of equity shakeout do you expect we could see? Well, I, I think it would be it would be an interest, interesting um, uh, if if that actually happens. I think SEMA is is absolutely right on. It's uh, when, when you look at the facts and try to put out the noise. Um, it would be hard. Per, you'd be hard pressed to think that the Fed, the Fed would, would would cut here. Um, I think what's more interesting, actually, is what Michael said earlier, which is is the Fed continues to work on how do they really want to position what they're what they want to do with inflation and, and, and how to affect it. And I think David's question is is really good. We have not been able to do that. So should the Fed be looking a little differently at that? But seems as I think is right on. It's it, it's hard pressed to think that uh, the, the Fed will do anything in the near term. So, Seema, the market may well be telling us that they think there's going to be a cut. The market's also telling us they don't think there's going to be much change at all. If we put up this chart right now that shows volatility, we're like at record levels of shorts on volatility, and the longs are way down. The white line there is the shorts. The blue line is the, is the longs. People, the market basically doesn't think it's moving either way. No, absolutely. And I think that makes sense. You know, as we see the data roll in, we've just had that, the job numbers that you've just shown. Um, what is that to... What is, what is the incentive here for the Fed to, to cut rates? I mean, I think it's more interesting in a way to think, you know, what would trigger those Fed rate cuts coming through? Um, one thing, obviously, is, as I said, if China fails, it doesn't lift up the global economy. You continue to see um, almost negative earnings numbers from large U.S. multinationals that sell out in China. Um, maybe that would be something. If inflationary pressures continue where there are, um, I think, I just, as, as I said before, there's just no reason for the Fed to move. The other thing is, is that, look, you know, if growth continues as it does, and you do eventually see um, inflationary pressures pick up, and I would point to, look, earlier this week, we had Christine Lagarde talking here. They asked her, you know, why, why do you see, um, why isn't inflation picking up? And she said it's a mystery. I mean, you know, you've got the head of the, the IMF saying it's a mystery. To me, that's saying that at some point, inflationary pressures may still come through. At that point, what does the Fed do? Does the Fed come under pressure to raise rates? And how does the market respond to that?